All right, guys, happy new year. Welcome 2020, the year where a new decade starts and hopefully a new beginning for this MCOC and many great changes to this account. With that being said, today will be, it's January 1st of 2020, and today will I will have, uh, I will do a account tour of my account for the first time ever. And then I will show you guys my uh, first five star champ of 2020. And that was from the Season Rewards Alliance Wars Rewards that I got. So we're gonna look at my current prestige roster or my roster, not prestige, but uh, I'm using this item use right now. So that's what I'm doing. So this is what I have. My total base hero rating is 941.22. And uh, these are my latest. This is my top four five stars. I have a number one Corvus Glaive, you know, and the rest. Uh, I have her at SIG 140, um, by the way. So we're gonna look at the champions. We're gonna look at the roster. And some of, I'm gonna stay some of the goals that I wanna do for this account. And hopefully we can meet some of these goals. So we're gonna go to the bottom of the bottom. And that is my one stars, right? So the one stars, here are my current one stars. And now that the one stars are very viable for uh, variant four, that's something that I wanna do. These are my current one stars right here. As you can see, none of them are awake, which I had some way of method uh, on how to awake them, but there isn't. We're moving on down to this two starts. And then the two starts, uh, nobody is really, actually there should be someone. Um, there you go, my two starts, there you go. This is my two star roster, looking pretty, pretty beefy. And uh, yeah, this is what my two, two, two star roster looks like. Got some rare champions in here. Uh, the majority are, were I thought, <laughs> ranked up, but they're not. So now moving on to my three-star roster. I'm gonna try to make this quick and painless. My three-star roster is actually pretty good. I like my three-star roster. I wish I could get out some of those new, newer champs like Arcus. I mean, like, uh, what's her name? Clara Boyan, a little bit, you know, max her out. And some of those champions, like I got some God tier champions in this account. I wanna get Guillotine 2099 right here to uh, rank four. And these are some of the champions that I do have. Uh, I don't have every three star there is out there because uh, I've been slacking on the arenas, which is something that I'm going to talk about here momentarily. But this is what my three star rank uh, roster looks like. As you can see, it's a pretty long roster because it's easier to get most of the champions. And there's a couple of champions that are missing. I obviously, Kang and Thanos are grayed out because I didn't well out on the gifting event and there's so much more drama to that, but I'm not influenced, I'm not into that, so I'm not worried about the drama. We're not gonna talk about it. All right, so now moving on to the four star roster. And the four star roster is a it, it helped me. It helped me a lot. It's the 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 pinnacle pretty much where you can get gets you from mediocre mediocre to like elite. And a lot of people want to say, well, even if you have five stars, you can be elite. Even if four stars, you can still be elite, right? But this four star roster helps you so much. And I don't have that many uh, ranked up as rank five, just because of the fact that I have put my attention into the five stars. Once I know that uh, four stars were good and capable, I just decided that five star was the new thing. And I just really didn't apply much more uh resources to my four stars plain and simple but i should you know one goal maybe one day it will be to rank them all up just like i i want to work on the same thing like I, the, this, the goal is to rank up all the two stars to max two stars the same thing with three stars and four stars so this is what my four star roster looks like okay moving on to the next phase we're gonna go to the six star and jump 
the five star because the five star is really my beefiest. So we're gonna talk about my six star roster. So in my six star roster, I got some really good champions. I have some excellent, excellent luck with. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say excellent, but I have some somewhat good luck. Uh, coming in number one champion that I do remember, my first six star is this lady right here, uh, Electra. No loose ends. I haven't been able to awaken or dupe her, which I don't. She doesn't eat it for me not right now. But when I first pulled her, I was like, no, 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 she's no good. But uh, actually, she's been very helpful. She's been very bit, uh, helpful to me. She hits like a mad truck and she bleeds people. And this is uh, right now the current six star roster. This is all I have for six stars. I don't have that many six stars, but I'm slowly building up my six star roster. Uh, so now we're gonna move to the granddaddy of them all. I know the six stars should be the granddaddy of them all, but it is the five stars for my roster, for my current account. Uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> so here are my top five champions. I have Corvus Glaive, Aegon, New Edition. I just uh, ranked them up about uh, two or three weeks ago. I just ranked up this lady right here. She is a beast. Uh, she's at rank uh, level SIG 140. Hopefully when I get more six stones, hopefully I can dupe her again. And uh, she is definitely a great addition to the roster. She has helped me clear content really easily. Not not easily, but without much you know resources wasted. So it does help out. Uh, then we got Captain America Infinity War, which is aka Beardle. And then we have Vision. Vision is a great champion. I love Vision. Although his prestige is not good, but he hits somewhat hard, in my opinion. And uh, this is the following four star uh, rank fours, five stars. Got Guillotine 2099, which I was so lucky. I think it was one of the luckiest pulls I had in 2019. I opened five crystals and I had, I pulled her twice. And then I have so many six stones, tech stones on. And I was like, let's go. Boom, let's go get it. So I went with Guillotine and maxed her out. So whenever I, this comes, Maybe I should be ready for it. I don't know. We'll see some gameplay in uh, in the abyss with Guillotine featuring Guillotine. Um, some of my latest pulls have been besides Guillotine. Um, I would say Doctor Doom. This is another champion that I cannot wait. As you can see, I just a generic Awakening gem on him, and just because of the fact that he's such a fun champion to play with. Great phenomenal champ to play with. I love it. I just can't wait to get him to 555, but my focus right now is on getting this monster champion right here to rank five as soon as possible. I, I need some T28 and that's what I need right now. Uh, I need him to uh, complement Captain Marvel movie version or as you guys know her as Captain Sparkles. Uh, so yeah, I need that's gonna be my next rank up right there. Then I have Havoc. Havoc is a great champion. Great, great, great champion. Uh, I don't use him as much as I would like to, but great champion. Then I have Black Widow and so on. So this is what my roster looks like. Um, eventually the goal right now, my focus is right now is to get all my rank ones, five stars to rank two because of arenas. Arenas are, are gonna be in arenas i'm gonna turn into lower shadow aka what up lower shadow and bg this year definitely gonna be relying on those arenas as much as i can um and it's gonna help me with some of the goals that i have set up for 2020 all right so pretty overall i have some pretty good champions and i can't complain I, my luck in 2019 getting champions was really good i pulled some really amazing champions and this is uh, what it looks like, really. Amazing, amazing champions right here, to say the least. All right, so moving on, now we're gonna go to the events, to the quest that I want to complete. Um, I'm gonna have to exit out of this quest that I'm doing right now. Let me just exit out. That way we can look at um, some of the goals and the events that I wanna complete and uh, to move on from where I'm at right now. So. I'm at a point where I have a pretty big account compared to others or not. It depends on who's looking at it and how their perspective is. But 
as you can see, I have all the variants. This is variant one, not completed at all. I haven't touched it because of how difficult it has been for me. Uh, and we have variant two. I just need initial completion on in variant two. I need to make sure that I complete it to 100%. That is gonna be my next goal. Uh, then we have variant three. I have the champions necessary for it. I need to do that just because of the fact that the rewards, this rewards I haven't been able to claim, right? But once I claim those rewards, I'll be able to get more, excuse me, guys, I'm a little sick, uh, more of those uh, rank four to rank five champions, five stars that I have and more, uh, more shards, six star shards to get a bigger roster. And then the latest one, I tried it a couple of times. I felt miserably. So it is maybe a skill gap that I need but I'm gonna put in the work and I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna, so this right now, the goals are to complete variant two to 100%, use up the rank up rewards to rank up champions that are gonna help me in variant three, and then vice versa, and then move on to variant four. From one, once we do variant four, once that's completed, right? <clears throat> well, let's go out. The next goal and target is gonna be Labyrinth of Legends to 100%. I've done some practice streams. I'm actually gonna start doing some more practice streams because having you guys all, having you guys help me out has been nothing but short than great. So thank you for everyone that watched me just hit the wall, face block, body block, and die countless times. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Your advice is phenomenal. So thank you because you're making me better and you're getting better for telling me this stuff. So yeah, I need to do this event. I have the champion there, which is Aegon, so as you guys saw. And then finally, and after that, that is completed, then we're gonna move on to the main quest, which is, uh, we already did 6.1 uh, initial completion. We did that, that was, that was, that took a lot of units, man. And I'm gonna lie to you guys. It took up around 2000 units to complete this. Not the first four chapters, like this chapter was easy. It's easy, but this two right here, this one, this is a nightmare of a chapter. The only game in town and the birthright was a, a, it's a nightmare. So now if you move on to the initial completion of 6.2, I'm right here where I'm stuck at severed against this Mr. Sinister. I do have a champion that could uh, deal with this. And I think that's Gilly, Gilly, Guillotine 2099, but I, I haven't really tried it. I got demolished with her. Again, it's a, a much more of a, a skill that I might be missing. I might have to practice a little bit more. You know, after all, I am the Scrub King. And then moving on to the next one. The next one is going to be my Masteries, right? So my Masteries foremost, I think, needs to be, I need to unlock Suicides. I see that. The thing that might be holding me back is having not suicides, not having suicides unlocked. Um, so my my goal is gonna be to do suicides. Suicides, get them unlocked as much as I can, maybe unlock Mystic Dispersion just because of of, of Doom. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy Doom. Miss Doctor Doom is, is, is a great champion. I know that they're gonna put a counter pretty soon and then they're gonna start building up nodes for countering that champion. So it is also very important that you try to knock out, I believe and my belief and what I've seen from my experience that you might have to knock down. Knock out <clears throat> some of the early content once that champion gets released, right? So that is my primary goal right now, to do the arenas as much as I can. I also want to make the announcement that I'm going to go free to play. Um, so definitely in doing that from now on. <clears throat> I might get a, a few deals here and there, but for the majority of the time, I'm going to be spending a good amount of time on this one. As you can see, the only one that I've been doing right now, it is the basic four-star arena and the five-star 2017 17 arena. And I'm just doing the milestones here because I'm just, I'm less than 22 hours out and, and I'm not going to put much dent, not going to prepare for this one, but I'm going to try to Try to do this once at least the three stars and the four stars just to the milestones and that's it just to collect those battle chips uh, i also want to save up for the fourth of july uh deals so hopefully i have enough for that and yeah let's go my inventory my inventory is going to look 
pretty grim to some of you guys, but this is what my inventory looks like. I use some of the stuff. I need to start using some of this, uh, this, uh, this, what's it called? Arena boost for item use that's going on right now. And uh, this energies, that's why I kind of exit out of that. This dual bot, uh, dual credits, I need to use that. And uh, I still got this <laughs> buff randomizer. I don't know if any of you guys have it, but I still have that. And this uh, four starts four to five is for 2014 champion, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, I haven't been able to haven't been able to use it. I got a good amount of six starts. But that's because I don't have a I have a good. Uh, good six stars, but I have no one duped yet. Uh, let me not Let me not jinx myself because I need more six stars. I need one more to complete my uh, What's it called my arena six star arena team? And let's go to keep going back to items. I'm sorry about that. Let's go to catalyst This is a catalyst that I got in my overflow. Hold on guys. Let me let me actually out of here really quick Let's go to inventory again, and this is what my catalyst look like a max style and a tier one basic catalyst. Uh, I got right now three tier five basic catalysts. Um, I'm, again, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna probably get another one here in a few days, and I'll be able to rank up uh, Nick Fury to rank five, hopefully. Uh, as a tier tier five cosmic catalyst, I only got 4,500. I think that's almost true for everyone. No, actually, it's not. So I think I have the most for tier five basic cosmic catalyst. So if I ever pull a another <clears throat> another Captain Marvel six star or a uh, Corvus six star, he is gonna be in the running for that because uh, it is either tier skill and cosmic that I have the most actually tech. So yeah, that's what I got for tech. I got tier one alpha, I got only two, and then in tier two alpha catalyst, I have only one. Um, on to the second one on my way to the second one. So this is what my catalyst roster looks like So if I could do more rank ups, I would guys um, But at the moment I cannot just because of that uh, So That being said what else are we gonna do here? I have no ISO. I wasted all my ISO on ranking up uh, Captain Marvel or Captain Sparkle but yeah, guys, that is my account tour of 2020. That's what my account, the Scrub King account, looks like. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know what you guys see that you might that I might need to work on, and any advice that you may have, or any advice that you may want to ask of me, put on the comments below. Let me know, and I'm gonna show you my latest five star champion. Gonna go up to level one, and this is my latest champion, my first five star of 2020. I put a five star, pull a five star thing. What a phenomenal banging of an opening! I boom open, not a banger, but a boom of a champion right here. I can't wait to rank him up. He eventually will go to rank five. I don't know when. Hopefully, in a couple of a couple of months from now. We don't know. I don't know yet. But all I know is that I'm super happy that I pulled them from a five star basic crystal. Again, this is was this was from the Alliance Wars rewards. Oh, talking about Alliance. Well, we'll talk about that another time. But yeah, guys, this is my uh, five star, my first five star of 2020. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys uh, have any advice for me, besides ranking up all those six stars to level 25, uh, let me know. Other than that, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. And let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, till next time. Peace and have a great, happy new year. Let's start 2020 with a banger. See you later. Till next time.